Hey guys, it's Mr. Miller here. This is uh, my explanation of how you're going to be evaluated for your formal debate. And right from the get-go, this is not my typical rubric uh, for the formal debate. I've definitely modified it for the COVID way in which I'm changing this project. Okay, so five marks will be associated uh, for the introduction, the two minute introductory statement. Um, again, I'll give a little more clear uh, success criteria tomorrow when I kind of give you kind of my exemplar of what an introductory statement should look like and um, the success criteria that should go along with it. 20 marks will be for your position, the five to seven minute, seven minute maximum argumentation, uh, middle stage of the, again, formal debate. Uh, so think, again, when you're presenting an argument, uh, again, it's clear, it's concise, it's organized, and your examples that which you're using to prove your points are, again, abiding by the evaluating sources kind of rules that I presented in a previous presentation. Uh, again, that will be 20 marks. Uh, I'm just going to, I'll come back to rebuttal in a second. And you have five marks assigned for your concluding statement. That's your one minute concluding summing up statement. Uh, for your rebuttal, again, this is the part that's going to come after your initial submission. Uh, you hand in your introduction, your position, and your conclusion first. Then we gather questions from me and the, your classmates and they're going to give you some kind of like questions well they're going to give them to me and then i'm going to take three of them and you're going to uh, respond to those questions and that'll be 20 marks uh for again kind of the presentation component uh verbal behavior uh again there used to be a non-verbal part but you can't really do that if it's just audio so the verbal component is how i'm going to be uh, and mark you in that regard. So again, clarity, speaking clearly, uh, word choice, again, voice level and intonation and emphasis. And if you want to know what I mean by that, again, I would like you to sound passionate, sound like you care about your topic. Uh, often, again, it sounds like people are very monotone when they're reading their script. And again, you can't get any impression of how they feel about the topic. I want you to feel like you are passionate and you are arguing uh, like you actually do care about your subject and your point of view, regardless if that's the way you actually feel. And lastly, timing, which will be five marks. And I want you to abide by my time limits and equitably share uh, the work between your partners. Okay, if you have any questions about how you're going to be evaluating, pop by the Google Meet or uh, leave a question on Google.